Ryan Brown from J. Ryan Brown Law. I want to talk about three things that law enforcement officers do to try to get people to confess to crimes, sometimes even if they didn't commit them. The first is the officer will minimize the crime, right? I've seen officers who are really, really, really good at this, particularly in uh, sexual offense crimes uh, and stuff like that, where the officer will try to try to, to minimize and say, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, man, you know? Or maybe a theft crime where, yeah, you didn't steal that much. I get it. Just let's go ahead. You'll feel so much better when you get this off your chest. It's not that big of a deal. I get it. I understand, right? And that is the kind of thing where they can say, oh, it's not that serious, not that serious, not that serious. And then as soon as you confess, they've got 25 warrants for you. And it's every bit as serious as you thought it was when you went there. And you knew that, but you let the cop trick you and they're allowed to do that. Don't fall for that trick. The next is sympathize. We touched on that a little bit in the last bit where they'll try to relate to you, right? The, the, or, the, or they'll fake it, right? So the officer will be like, man, I get it. If I was in your spot, maybe I'd have done the same thing. Cause that's what happened, right? Like you, you were down on your luck. That's why you did that. Or, 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 or she came on to you, didn't she? That's why you did that. Or something like that. They'll try to make you feel like it's okay. Uh, and, and try to elicit that confession to something, right? And uh, these are the years of training uh, of psychological techniques to get people to confess to stuff. And there's science behind how that can lead to false confessions as well. It's very dangerous. It's why we're so adamant about folks not talking to the cops without their lawyer with them, okay? The third and probably the most common, law enforcement can lie to you, right, during an investigation. That is completely allowed. So they will make situations up, right? Say that you and your buddy are under investigation for something. They'll tell you, hey, your buddy is in interview room B, and he's already told Investigator Smith everything that happened. In fact, he said you're the one that was the gunman, right? He's blaming you for it. So why don't you really tell me what happened, because we think he might be stretching the truth a little bit. They can make that kind of stuff up to put the pressure on you, to put the squeeze on you, to try to get you to confess to something uh, maybe that you didn't even do. And you don't need to do that. You don't need to make the prosecutor's job easier than it already is. Um, if you have questions about your case, uh, please hit subscribe for more information generally, and then give us a call at 470-635-1725 if you have any questions.